Right, good afternoon and welcome back to another Coaster Crazy vlog here on YouTube. Yes, I'm back at Alton Towers. I say back, it's probably the second time I've only been to Alton Towers this year. I had nothing planned. Um, yeah, it's a few days now until the end of the year. In fact, it's a couple of days. I was going to say Happy New Year to everyone, but I'm not going to lie. It's not the new year just yet. It's the 30th of December today and it's quite warm despite the rain so I've got my little jacket on I've got a new lens for the uh, for the GoPro as well I've actually got the new lens that's for the Hero 10 it disperses water so I'll give it a go with this rain see what happens today but yeah I'm here for the Lightopia event I thought I'd come and give it a go really so yeah let's see what happens it's actually cost me 31 pound <laughs> to come and do this today even though I'm an annual pass holder so yeah 31 pound so it was like 16 quid to do one thing and 15 pound to do I think Lightopia is 15 pound and the rides uh 16 pound which there's not much here unfortunately for ride offering but at least it's something but yeah the cost to get in here uh, like I say is 31 pound with an annual pass but it's only 15 pound to go to uh, Legoland and they've got like 40 attractions there so just bear with me today with this I mean I've got spots spots on the camera already so yeah the weather's not great it was really nice earlier just met up with a friend as well I've not seen for a while um, yeah met him at the Alton Towers Hotel just had a sit down and a coffee and a chat and yeah it was just a just good to see him. I've not seen him for a while. Some of you probably might know who that might be, but yeah, he can't join me today because he's got other plans. But uh, <laughs> yeah, never mind. Um, yeah, so what I'll do is I'll go and do the some of the rides, show you around what's here. As you can see straight away, there's no market. I've missed the Christmas market. That's gone. That was only here for the Christmas period. This event is actually on till the 2nd of January. So if you see what you like, and you want to come down and experience it, you've got a couple of days left. So we have four in fact, but the weather is awful now, isn't it? I did bring my big jacket with me. Well, say that. I left it on the coat hanger at, at home and I should have brought it, but it's, it's 13 degrees. It was 15 degrees when I left. But look at it, it's awful. I don't know why. Oh, it's rubbish weather when I come to theme parks. And it has been this, this year anyway. The weather has been awful this month. It really has, but yeah, you can toast your marshmallows over there CBB's lands open light up is back that way which I've got booked for four o'clock so I've got a couple hours before that starts so yeah I just hope everything's all right I mean it, it's looking a bit close I've just got it on wide I'm going on super wide whereas the max lens model be like that but yeah Christmas at Alton Towers I haven't got any horizon lock on or anything obviously you could tell when I do that <laughs> but yeah I've got the wristband so you get a wristband to come in for the rides and I don't know where I'm going probably up to Gangster Granny first really uh, maybe Hex first oh god it's awful why do I come when it's rubbish weather <laughs> but at least I've come to see it which is what I wanted to do all year really they've had some really good events this year at Alton Towers unfortunately didn't make most of them so you had uh, the October Fest for the second time uh, Halloween I didn't bother this year did quite a few other Halloween events and then obviously Christmas. Well, yeah, I can't, I can't see anything already. My glasses are completely soaked up. You can see the uh, area there where the stage used to be, where they did some of the Christmas stuff. But I think that's over at the Fountain Square up at the top now. Well, yeah, my camera's like absolutely covered in water now, rain. <laughs> but yeah, you've got a spinball wizard going around. I don't fancy going on that in the rain. Maybe later on. I don't even think there's anyone on it really to be honest so go and have a look but yeah oh god it's horrible why horrible <laughs> anyway we're going we're going to see what we can get on i'll get a vlog anyway for the channel but yeah i hope you've all had a good christmas hope you enjoyed the last vlog uh burton on the sea or borton i think it's pronounced borton on the sea but yeah these glasses are coming off in a minute because i can't see anything they've steamed up and they're covered in rain is there anyone even on it I don't know if it's testing or not it's five minutes but yeah spinball wizard oh my god the gopro is absolutely soaked good job it's waterproof so yeah let's get down to uh to hex right i've made it up towards hex i just met a uh, a nice bloke actually fan of the channel with his son 
said he met me a couple of years ago at Fantasy Island. So yeah, hi. If you've seen the vlog, uh, it was nice to meet you. Uh, but yeah, like I said earlier, I met up with a friend. Um, he actually showed me around the Splash Landings oh. Hotel because I've never seen it before, never been in there. It was rammed. There were so many people in there. I don't believe it. It's just so busy. And then I pulled into the car park. I actually parked in the disabled car park where they told me to park. And um, yeah, there's like hardly anyone there, but seems busy around this section. It's around Fountain Square. So you've got Hex just here, which I'll go on now. And you've got a show on as well, which I'll go and show you. I said I mentioned it before many times, I'm not into shows. So I'll, I'll go and have a look, I'll go and show you. It's like a pantomime type thing. And you've got a few decorations and things around here as well. Got these snow globes here. I can play! We'll go over here and have a look. This weather's not clearing up at all, it's it's awful. Really bad. Uh, I mean, it's, the speaker set up here! Wow, it's loud that. today are actually staying in the um, in the hotels it's just terrible weather isn't it <laughs> we've got some fire pits and stuff around here as well which are really cool we're so going hex one of the best indoor dark rides in the country I, I I really like this not done it for a while face masks are required I'll get that out of my pocket can't film on ride unfortunately you know the score. <laughs> should we should we walk on in here? Pitch black as well. Right, I'll see you when I come off the ride. Oh, you can't go wrong with Hex, the legend of the towers. Yeah, I've actually walked out of it in a completely different section. I've, we've actually just walked past the ride again. Um, but yeah, there was hardly anyone waiting for that. And if you don't know, it's a Vekoma Madhouse. Basically, you sit on a big bench on either side and that sort of swings like that. And then the whole room spins around as well. Sort of gives you the sensation of going upside down where you actually don't. When you're actually on it, it's the sort of same feeling that you would get on a pirate ship, if you will. But yeah, it's a really good attraction that I'm now in the Cuckoo Cars land or the world of David Walliams. Uh, go on, Gangster Granny the ride. I mean, you notice from the footage, I've put you on super wide now. Yeah, it's much, uh, much better. <laughs> but it was too close before, it was like, like that. But yeah, still raining. Apparently with the uh, weather app, it's supposed to stop raining at three o'clock. So the cars are open. It's weird. I was just saying to the fan of the channel before, it would have been nicer to have a few more rides open for the event for Christmas, but it is what it is. At least it's something, you know, there's a lot of parks still haven't bothered opening up for the season. Hooray, well done. Passed your driving test. So Gangster Granny the ride, you've got Flabio's Fandango, the Sizzler down at the bottom. Hopefully that stays, we don't really know what's going on with that, but the other Retro Squad rides are gone. Uh, Mixtape is now at High Park Winter Wonderland. Uh, a Funk and Fly, which is this Super Trooper, that's at Lakeside. 
I don't know where the, uh, the waltz has gone, but yeah, it would be great to get some more rides back for next year. Is that too wide? I don't know now. It's really weird. Anyway, <laughs> Gangster Granny the ride, absolutely adore this. Where's the key line for it? Oh, it's over here. Yeah, they've changed this as well. Gangster Granny the ride, really cool indoor dark ride. Again, I can't film on the rides. It is a shame that you can't film on rides at Merlin Parks, but just the way it is really. And then obviously you've got Spinball Wizard. The couple of rides down here as well that are open. I think Marauders Mayhem's open as well on the other end of the park. But other than that, that's, that's about it really. I've got Lightopia just over an hour, an hour and a half. But I'll wait until it goes a bit dark to go and do that. And then that's it. End of the season for me really. Hope you've enjoyed what I've brought to the channel this year. And uh, hopefully there's more to come. Uh, with depending on what the restrictions have got in place, I don't really know. Like I said, I was hoping to go to uh, Disneyland Paris in January, but that's uh, that's a no-go. Face mask, back come. Still got the things in place in here. Yeah, walk on, I think. I'll actually look at the app in a minute. The Merlin apps because uh, when I looked yesterday, pretty much everything at Legoland was on 45 minutes. So yeah, Le Legoland's been really popular at Christmas. It always is a really good place to go at Christmas. Yeah, all the stuff in here. The theming's pretty good in the station. Yeah, you can't film on the ride here. It's quite funny actually because when they had the opening day earlier in the year, you had all these vloggers turn up and they all filmed on the ride and you're not supposed to so yeah I love that, it's such a good ride honest to god that's probably my second favourite dark ride in the UK after Flight the Skyline at Legoland it's brilliant honest to god if you've not been to Alton Towers yet to come, you've got to come and ride this and it's walk on so yeah I absolutely adore that ride the uh, the way that it works is great. So you sit on that four-seated, well, six-seated carriage. So you've got a front row and a back row. The smell pods in there. There's lighting. The, the animation's really good in there. It's a lot of 2D sort of uh, effects, like cardboard cutout type things. But you know, it's really good. It's, I'm going around to do it again. It's brilliant. It's, it's practically walking. There's a big crowd of people just come here in front of me. Well, no, I love it to bits. It's brilliant when you're on it. There's, there's so much to it, and it's so clever how it works as well. Like it turns, it vibrates. There's onboard audio, the good story to it. It's, it's brilliant. It's, it's just so clever um, how it works. So yeah, going around to do it again. <laughs> Why not? Yeah, it's such a good ride. I really do enjoy it. The only little niggles I've got with it is the fact that you can see some of the projections uh, above you and some of the lighting could do with hiding a little bit better on there. Like I said, you've also got the uh, the twister and the carousel just there behind me and a little drop tower but there for kids and it's raining really badly. Um, so I don't fancy going on the twister in this. you also got the dungeon down there. That's closed at the moment. Um, it, it would have been nice to have a bit more open uh, for the Christmas season, especially a few more coasters or something like that, and like another dark ride, maybe the ghost train or something. I don't really know. So uh, it's nice just to come here, I suppose. Like I said, it was £31 with the annual pass. Um, it's, it's not too bad, I suppose. You can't really moan about it. It's still nice to uh, get out of the house and have a walk around. It's really nice what they've offered, like the Christmas event's all right. The entertainment's on. Again, you can hear that in the background. But a lot of it is closed around here. Um, yeah, we also got some investment coming to CBeebies uh, for next year. A couple of re-themed things, of, you know, some updated stuff. I'm not sure if there's any new rides. I think it's just more updates of stuff, uh, getting rid of some of the stuff that's not really current at the time. But uh, yeah, let's go and see what else we can find. I think Lee Wood's walking around as well. 
uh, doing some work, so Lee would see us if we could spot him as well. Another little Christmas show going on there. It's really nice that they've got the entertainment on. We've got the heaters under the marquee as well, so that's really good to see. And I think Woodcutters is open. Not too sure, but you got the te little techie booth over here in the little shed. <laughs> Oh, well, good, good job for somebody if you're a techie. I do need the toilet though, so go to the toilet round here and then head back towards Sea Beavers, I think. Get on in a few rides there and then get ready for Light Topia. But it, it's supposed to stop raining at three o'clock and it's 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 not doing. <laughs> but yeah, Woodcutters is open just there if you want some food. Marshmallows, that's not on. Yeah, it's, it's just always a bit grim, isn't it, when the weather's not too good. Yeah, see what happens in the future with the channel. But yeah, thank you for everyone who has subscribed this year and welcome to the channel if you are new. I'm off to the toilet for a wee, so I'll see you in a second. Right, I think it's actually stopped raining. Uh, since I'm going to be walking past it or into it, I'll, uh, I'll go on Spinball Wizard, which is just over there. Yeah, it is just nice just to have a walk around. They've also got the uh, twinkling lights walk through section as well through the uh, through the gardens. I don't think I'll do that on this visit. Like I said, I'll do what the rides are open around here, and then got lights open in about an hour. So hopefully it starts to go dark. It probably goes dark about half four now. Um, and then I'm looking forward to it. I've, I've done quite a few of them light, um, light attractions. We did uh, Blending Palace a couple of years ago and it was amazing. We also did one at the uh, Wildlife Longleats. That was awesome as well. So they're really good events if you've never been to one. Just very quiet here. Well, I don't expect it really. But yeah, Spinball Wizard, let's give this a go. I don't know if they allow single riders or not, I'm, I can't remember. We'll go up and have a look anyway. You know, you've also got Octonauts open as well. We've got the two coasters open. Fast track, what's it say on that sign there? It doesn't say five minutes now. Oh, it does say five minutes. I'm not sure if it allows single riders, I can't remember. Oh, please keep to the chevrons, social distancing. There's no queue for it. Hopefully I can get on it. So yeah, Spinball Wizard. Marathon spinning coaster. Hopefully wanted to get back to Dubai soon as well, because they're building one of these at Motion Gate Dubai, which is the... Now uh, now they see me, um, IP version I think it is, and then they've got the John Wick coaster which is the SNS 4D spinning coaster. And you also got you also got a really cool looking GCI wooden coaster that's opening up in Bollywood as well soon. So yeah, three new coasters to go back there for plus SeaWorld, they build a SeaWorld as well in Abu Dhabi. Uh, so looking forward to that. But yeah, it's having a good day here, despite the weather, <laughs> of course. But yeah, can't film on the ride. So I'll see you when I come off. Spinball Wizard. Send it. Spinball Wizard, mark of my hair. <laughs> yeah, follow me on uh, Twitter as well. Uh, not Twitter, I'm not on Twitter. Well, I am, but I don't bother with Twitter. Instagram, I mean. Coaster Crazy Andy for some uh, Insta stories. Yeah, just being on there, there was a guy sat behind me on the opposite side. Oh, it's brutal, is that? <laughs> Especially when it's a bit, a bit damp, a bit moist. 
Um, but yeah, it's, it's a decent coaster. It's, it's not bad for what it is. This would, would have made a great indoor coaster if they were able to put a building around it. Um, but yeah, I don't know what the future is with the Spinball Wizard. It's an old attraction now. There's quite a decent space for something if they want to put something a bit bigger in there. Obviously with the height they can't because it's kind of over the trees and stuff. But it just just about, you know, line with these trees just here. But not a good coast of that. It's all right. Thankfully, it's not raining. <laughs> so I've got to go into um, CBB's land. Got to do Octonauts and a few of the little rides around there. Um, might do like Postman Pat, I think. I don't, I don't think I've ever been on Postman Pat. See what else is open in there and then just maybe get something to eat and hang around for Lightopia, which is on the other side of the park. Just over that area there, you can just see the entrance for that. You've got to scan your QR code again for that. Again, everything's all online still, so still got to pre-book stuff as well. So hopefully in the future when COVID's disappeared, we can just turn up and, you know, use an annual pass or whatever, rather than doing it online, which isn't really a problem to be honest, because you do it online, you get your QR code, you turn up, you scan it, that's it, it's easy, it's done, isn't it then? Yeah, going to uh, CBV's land now. Yeah, a bit gutted that the Christmas market's gone. Apparently that went on the 23rd. So, I think it was the 23rd. So, a few days ago now. Still got some of the stalls in here. Food stalls. And their little setup. I'll go and show you there in a minute. Little seating area up there. You can go up there. Little bar. So yeah, let's go and have a look in here now. A uh, few, yeah. Huh? Yeah, I'm on my own, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right, I just walked into CBB's lad. He's walked, don't walk off, don't walk off. Look what I've bumped into. Hello, hey. Hello everybody. Mr. Lee Wood. Uh, Mr. Lee Wood. Yeah, Mr. Lee Wood and uh, my new friend Molly. Hi. That's not from Liverpool. Stoke. From Stoke. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, you all right? She's on it as well. Well, yeah, Mr. Lee Wood, you all right, mate? Yes, not bad. I'd just like to wish all your viewers a very happy new year. Yeah. I hope 2020 is a good one. 2022, even. Yeah. Not 2020. And if, so. if you haven't seen it, plug, uh, you were on the telly again, yes, weren't you? Yes, I was on the Channel 4, yes, if you didn't see it. It's yeah. One, a night in the Alton Tower as yeah. usual. Yeah. You see my face. Oh, did you get any autographs off the off the guys no, that were in it? Uh, no. He just no. sent a ride that he doesn't normally operate. <laughs> no, in fact, you didn't even send it, did no, you? It was pretend. <laughs> pretend. <laughs> I don't know if I'm supposed to say that, but yeah, he didn't send it. <laughs> Unfortunately. But yeah, nice to see you, Lee. Yes, I do. Nice to see you, Molly. Not from Liverpool. From from Stoke. From Stoke. Stoke. Oh, here we go, Stoke. I'm going warm. Right, Happy New Year, uh, Happy Lee. New Year I thought too. I was going to say Chris then. <laughs> Lee. <laughs> and my new friend. Sure. Hello. Sure. Yeah. See right, you. I'll see you later. Yeah, <laughs> nice to see you, Lee. <laughs> see you, mate. Right, I go around to do Octodots. Just seen Jamie as well, another friend as well that sees gone down to work on Oct Octonauts. So I'll go and do that and, and then probably maybe a couple of rides in here um, and then head over to Lightopia. I said I've got it booked for four o'clock, it's about 20 minutes from now and it's started to go dark. I want it to be a bit darker because obviously it's a light walk through, there's not much point going through during the day. So yeah, there's some work walls up somewhere, they've got the new re-theming area and I don't know what it is they're doing, just some CBB stuff but I don't even know what they are really. Yeah, Octonauts were a coaster. I think I've only ever been on this once. But yeah, check the apps as well. Um, Chessington doesn't look that busy today. Apparently Vampire's been close for the past couple of days, so I don't know what's up with Vampire. I haven't checked Legoland though, because that's normally been really busy. That's done really well this, this season, Christmas season. Uh, let's just check the app now while I'm walking around a few times for Legoland 40 minutes for Laser Raiders I'm telling you, always on an hour queue <laughs> Flight the Skyline 35 a lot of things are on 25 minutes at Legoland so yeah, very busy there here, 
it's pretty dead, which is good. <laughs> well, good for me anyway. So yeah, another ride I can't film on. But yeah, I'll see you when we get off Octonauts. Ah, oh, there we go. Octonauts. Probably the smoothest coaster in the whole of the park. It's really, really cool. Two lat special as well, little Zamperla. Nice to see Jamie on there as well. Shout out to Jamie. Brilliant. Super smooth. Well, I think we can go this way. Uh, so I'll go and have a look around in CBBS. It's an area of the park that I've never really been in, to be honest. Um, it's obviously for kids. But yeah, I've never, I don't even think I've been in this section ever. I was like, oh, Teletubbies. <laughs> Yay, Teletubbies. Oh, look at it around here. This is cool. Yeah, another coaster in here. <laughs> Oh, look at that, Teletubbies. I like this, and here the theme is pretty cool. That's well good. <laughs> Didn't even know Teletubbies was still a thing, really, but yeah, Teletubbies. <laughs> That's well good. But yeah, go around and see what else there is. And I love this, like this flooring in here as well. Really good little themed area, really. If you are just joining us here, we can tell you. Teletubbies! That's awesome. Up next at Oh, Hey Dougie! Whoever Hey Dougie is. So I don't really know any of the stuff that's here, really. But obviously, I'm 42 years old, I don't really know much of the CBB stuff. Probably would do if I had kids. I know Postman Pat obviously, there's a the Go Jetties, Rimster thing over there. There's another little flat ride there, never been on that. I do Postman Pat, I think, I've never done Postman before. Meet the veggies, where's the veggies? They grow hair and mind. Meet the veggies, where's the veggies? We used to love Postman Pat as a kid. Yeah, I never even mentioned it about the decorations around the park as well. All the garland up looks really good. It's quite a, it's quite a big area, really. It's uh, it's CBB's land. Yeah, go and queue up and do Potion Park, I think. Yeah, I can't believe I've, I've never been on Postman Park before, and you've got these interactive buttons. this train set. But something's missing. What can he use to pull the carriages? Train. Well done. Mm. Ache will be so pleased now that he has his train. Sounds like Neil Morris is doing the voice. The guy that used to be in Men Behaving Badly, if anyone remembers that. I'm pretty sure if you're my age you will remember Men Behaving Badly. But yeah, he does the Bob, Bob the Builder Here's Ralph voice. Thompson at Thompson Ground. He's counting his livestock. I'm waiting for a very important delivery. What's he missing? Sheep. Press the sheep. <laughs> What's that? Beep beep. Oh, it doesn't work. Beep beep beep. Looks like PC <laughs> Selby has had beep, to close the road. Darling, what's going on here? Never mind, we'll just have to take another route. These parcels must be delivered. What's the spanner for? Oh, great job! Ted can get on with his repairs now. <laughs> Yay! Yeah, I'm gonna change the setting on this. It just is. It's weird. It's like I'm, it's like I'm stretched. If it stopped raining, well, it has stopped raining. I'll probably put the uh, the lens mod back on. The, the lights up here. Yeah. Thanks to you. Mira and Charlie can do their painting. Yay! Just one more to go now. One more to go. Don't know what it is. Might be the letter. I didn't press the letter. My horn's not working. <laughs> oh, 
a cool little ride. Obviously, two it's seats here for kids. Day at the school, but Mira and Charlie seem to be missing something to paint with. Oh, paintbrush. I, I did the. I pressed the paintbrush. Thanks to you, Mira and Charlie can do their painting. Just one more to go now. He said, "What? Well, hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. He said one more to go just before. This must be the letter. She's she hasn't got a letter yet." So Here's Mrs. Goblin sorting out the Greendale mail. She's just waiting for one last letter. There we go. Mrs. Goggins has got her letter. Awesome. <laughs> Yee, what a cool ride. Oh, what a fun little ride that is. I mean, yeah, like I said, I can't believe the amount of times I've been to Alton Towers. And there's so many rides in this area I've never been on before. I've only done the uh, boat ride in the night guard and the once that was that was a few years ago never done postman park before i have done the little monorail track ride uh, you just see the track there done that before when it was squirrel nutty i think but there's so much in this area it's really good i'm surprised it's not won an award for like the best themed children's area in the uk i think that normally goes to like um Poulton's park peppa pig you know because it's really good but yeah, good little ride that. You could also stay in a Postman Pat themed room as well at the CBB's hotel. Um, like I said earlier, when I met my friend, uh, which was Sean, obviously, by the way, um, he showed me around like the hotel, like the splash landings. And I'm surprised I've never stayed at the hotels before because they look really nice. Inside was really nice. The uh, swimming complex, the splash landing itself, it was so busy, it looks really good in there, some really good slides and stuff. I'm just not really into water parks and things really, but there you've got the stargazing pods and the enchanted village where we wanted to stay last year, but obviously we couldn't we couldn't because of COVID restrictions. So yeah, that was sea babies. There's a lot more in here, but obviously I can't show you everything that's there. So yeah. <laughs> Right, that's it really for rides. I think there's a few over on the other side. I'll go and show you those. I just want to show you some of the uh, food stalls we've got here as well. But no, it's a really good event. Like I said, it's just a shame that the uh, Christmas market's not there anymore, which is all in this section here. The lights have come on now. I don't know if I'll get something to eat. I'm not that hungry, to be honest. But you've got a nice bar here. You can walk up at the top there and go in there. <laughs> We've got food over here, tea, coffees. Oh, I might get a coffee, you know. What is it? Sausages and things. It smells pretty good. I just, I'm just not that hungry, really. Oh, Kenko coffee. Then you got these little seating areas. These are quite nice. And over here as well, I think they've got like a. Oh yeah, guy with a. Uh, what are they called? Harpsichord or something like that. Oh, it's the weather's awful, it's starting to rain again now. So yeah, Lightopia should be going to it now, really. Oh, chicken wraps and things, halloumi. Wow, £10, oh my god, that's expensive. Oh god, yeah, £10 for a wrap, wow. Coffees. Yeah, I'm looking for somewhere that does a, like a Costa, a Costa or something like that. Like a nice latte. What's that? Wraps, Yorkshire pudding wraps at this one. £11 for a wrap. <laughs> no, you're alright. Lattes, teas and coffees there. I've got to see what else there is. But yeah, that's like a nice seated area. Obviously the ground as well has been done. But yeah, the, the rain is terrible. Oh well, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> Oof. Hopefully next year, we can get mulled wine here as well. Again, teas and coffees, just there. What was the cost of? I don't the coffee shop over, yeah, I'll go over there. I'll get myself a coffee over there because they do Costa over there. And then I'll head down to uh, Lightopia, which is where most people are heading towards. Right, so it's time to do Lightopia and I've got myself my uh, Costa crazy <laughs> with hazelnut. So yeah, it looks all right. We've got a bit of production map in there. There's some rides open in Mutiny Bay, but uh, I ain't got to bother with that. The, the winds just start to pick up and it's just starting to rain again. So I'll get around this as quick as I can. Apparently it takes about an hour to get around it. Should be able to see some, well, most of the lights. I mean, I could already see, you can see it there in the center of the screen. Uh, looks pretty good as it is already. So 
yeah you don't need you don't need it to be pitch black and then you've got like a, a fountain show over there apparently that wasn't running the first day uh, when it opened I think I've got a scammy ticket again I think oh yeah I've got a scammy ticket again oh, I don't know. Um. Alright, so here we go, let's go and check out Lightopia here at Alton Towers. I've changed the um I changed it back to the uh, wide rather than the super wide. <laughs> Hopefully it's a bit better. I mean it doesn't fit me in that well when I'm holding the camera, but no, never mind. It's all about seeing the lights, isn't it? It's all like themed sections. So let's see how we go with this then. So yeah, it's a shame Wicker Man's not open for the uh, Christmas season. That would have been good to get on there. It's a good woody. Got all the lights down here. Projection mapping on the floor is pretty cool. Lights in the trees. Wow. I think most people have come to the park to see this today. Oh, this looks pretty cool. Yeah, they're amazing how they're uh, how they're made. It's basically a wire mesh with like cotton on the top. Yeah, the camera's not liking that, is it? Oh. Yeah, these polar bears over here, penguins as well. Oh, it's really good. Oh, I like that. Yeah, it's lovely actually, really nice. There's been quite a few of these little light walkthroughs throughout the uh, the UK, really. But I'll tell you what, um, I know it's not it's not raining as much now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn you off for a second, and I'm going to put the lens mod on because it's just not it, the footage for me is not as good as what it should be. But yeah, I'll see you in a second. I've got the uh, the lens mod on now. <laughs> it's still not still not um, coming up that well. Yeah, you can see it. <laughs> you can see it. It's really good though. I love how they've uh, done it. Apparently, this is the longest light trail in Europe. See, so like that, you can't really make out what that is yet. There you go. It's like a snow globe. Right then. Look stag up there in the trees. You got the lasers there. Must take ages to set something like this up. Wow, look at that dragon. Holly leaves. Oh, these candles look good. Oh, it's awesome. So, yeah, we're walking basically up to uh, Katanga Canyon, really. Oh, wow, look at those lights in there. The Christmas music as well. Oh, that's really cool. I mean, that's showing up really well on the camera there. 
So I can't even actually make out what that is when the camera is showing up really well, all the leaves. Brilliant. The audio as well. Yeah, I'm glad I've come to see it. I know the weather's not been great today, but it's nice to see it. I mean, you can see it all in the distance over there that we've just been up. It's very busy though. There's a lot of people like me. Sorry. With his lightsaber. Come out of Darth Vader. Just watch out as you go through. Yeah. <laughs> the other one here. <laughs> Luke Skywalker. <laughs> this little... <laughs> this little lightsaber. I want one. <laughs> oh, that's it. But yeah, you can get light up things as well. It looks awesome though. It looks really, really good. Yeah, I have to make a big deal of coming to some of these next year now. Because there's quite a few. There was one in uh, Manchester as well that looked really good. Another Lightopia. So yeah, if you don't know, Lightopia is actually an external company. It's not... Yes, Alton Towers have probably paid for it and told them what where they want stuff and organised it. But yeah, it's Lightopia. Is a separate company. These look really pretty. Like these pink lights and the flowers. Yeah, it's awesome so far. It really works well actually in the trees. I like all these here, the lips. What coming? What coming? You've got the giraffe there, the flowers on the side. It's awesome, I'm loving this. It's really, really good, and there's so much to see as well. It's really good stuff to see. over there as well that's like Easter like yeah, it's like all seasonal stuff so it's all the Easter stuff down there that's really cool the rabbit in the back wow look at this oh it's awesome it's really good This one's really pretty here, just outside Jewel. You know what, I've actually just taken a few pictures on my phone and I'm getting better footage on my phone than I am with the camera. So like I said in previous vlogs, I might see about getting a different camera for vlogging, especially at night. I mean, it's not really picking anything up. You can see it, but the detail isn't really there until it, look, see the flickering of the light? Oh, how it's doing that that's weird it shouldn't be doing that <laughs> i hope i've not broken my camera but never mind yeah it's really good actually yeah but by the way jewel isn't open unfortunately would have been good to have it open you can have like a stop gap halfway through and you go on a ride but this goes all the way up to uh, forbidden valley where nemesis is and all the way down gloomy wood as well oh look at the butterflies they're all moving yeah awesome very busy though. Oh, look at these round here. Come on. Yeah, come on. Oh, they're awesome. Wow, look at it in here. Yeah, really good. I mean, this is worth £15 alone, I think, just to come and see this. Yeah, it's really cool and it goes on for miles over there and all the way down there as well it's huge see them all the way down there as well and we also got the uh, twinkling lights walk through as well yeah it's awesome really cool 
Yeah, I'm loving this, it's brilliant. So it's now summertime now. You've got your flip flops and your rubber rings. There's some flowers on here, look at that. That's really cool. It's just, uh, tell you what, it's hard trying to film and take pictures at the same time though. <laughs> I must admit, I'm struggling a bit to, to handle two, two things at the same time. And I've got water on my lens as well. Oh, it's amazing. Really, really good. And the fact you can get so close to them as well. Oh, the dogs. Just getting some pictures as well. So I mean like I can get a really really nice picture of that. It looks awesome. Again, check me out on Facebook as well. Coaster Crazy Andy for the uh, for the pictures that I've taken from here and throughout the day. I love the flowers. Yeah. Awesome. We've got some lasers down here. Love a good laser. The music's really good as well. I think the audio makes it to be honest all the lights and the trees what we've got down here Oktoberfest is coming up now so it's all your pretzels and all that sort of stuff Plink Flamingos are good enjoyed this vlog today like this is now the last vlog of the year and i hope you've enjoyed everything that we've done this year or you know every all the places we've been to try to cover as much as we can on the channel visit as many places as we can fun fairs attractions theme parks hopefully try and do a lot of new places next year if we can i don't know how it goes but yeah <laughs> There's even some spotlights in the sky, but not really making it out, is it? No, not quite. Absolutely loving this section here with the lasers. There's a huge laser in that light truss up there. And it looks awesome. Looks better in person, obviously. <laughs> but yeah, just have yourself a nice roll over hot dog. Looks really good. I love my lasers. But yeah, the laser's just up there. I think there's two of them actually. And again, the audio, really good. Yeah, there's two. So there's a set over there on the left, and there's a set on the right as well. Yeah, you just see the beams coming out of it now. Right, they've got the beautiful Prospect Tower here, and I know it's called the Prospect Tower because I actually asked a couple of employees of the park because I, I, I didn't know. To be honest, I don't even think I've ever seen this before or I've walked past it and not noticed it before, but it's, yeah, Heritage and Con Conservation. Oh, it says there, the Gothic Prospect Tower just there, so, yeah, really nice, actually, but, yeah, it's, it's a really good walk through this. It's also got, like I said, the, uh, the twinkling walk through as well, but... It's not as good as this though, is it? Look at that. Brilliant, loving the lights. Yeah, let's continue down this way. I don't even know if I've What is this bit? I don't think I've been around here before. I, I just don't... It, it's weird walking around in the dark because you don't really see... Figure out, oh yeah, I don't think I've ever walked this way before because we're underneath the cable cars just there. Yeah, so the toilets were open. There's a couple of food and drink stalls open as well. You've got some more, some flowers and flowers on the side. 
but it's really good this is it's a good walk actually I've been at it now nearly an hour so yeah I've had to obviously stop and have a toilet get something to eat as well but it's really cool if this is here next year I highly recommend coming and having a look obviously just make sure the weather's decent I love that the old 3d glasses I'm actually pretty pretty blown away by all this it's really really good and to be honest I don't see why they can't have something like this in the summertime you know once the park's gone dark at night have the park open a little bit later and have it part of the like a summer experience as well not just here at winter um, I know these are more like a, a winter experience how you right um, more of a winter experience like it's just like really Christmassy isn't it I suppose walking around with all the lights on, it's very festive. Look at these there, like wizard's wands. I think it's amazing. It's really, really good. Well, I've done a lot of walking today. It's a big, it's a big thing, really. It's going on for ages. Got the gargoyles lit up there. They look amazing, lit up. Then they had Santa hats on them as well, actually. Yeah, I thought they did. Wow, brilliant, absolutely brilliant is this. Well worth coming to see this. It just goes on forever. <laughs> Look at it round here, all the trick or treat stuff. So yeah, the Halloween now. That's amazing, that. It deserves another picture, really. Get my phone out. Get another picture. I've taken loads of pictures, so go and give me a follow Instagram and Facebook as well. Wow, that was a good shot. I've noticed as well when I'm taking a picture, there's always a there's always a bin in the way. <laughs> yeah, it's really good. Look at this uh, sp at this tunnel there. Wow. Right, oh, the portal here, yeah, sorry. I should get a picture. <laughs> and the light tunnel. Oh wow, brilliant, absolutely brilliant is this. I think there's like a laser tunnel coming up as well. Oh, look at these, yeah, it's like very Harry Potter. Yeah, very Harry Potter-esque. With the screeching plants. That's cool. Yeah, awesome. Got the laser tunnel coming up here now. Oh, excuse me. Thank you. Yeah, it's picking it up really well on the camera on my phone. Love the lasers. Oh, it's out fiber optics. Love a, love a fiber optic. This light tunnel's really cool. <laughs> yeah, I think what they've done is they've moved some of them out of the way, they've tied them up to the sides. Because they're all, they're all, you see how they've tied them together? Yeah, they've tied some because they're all, yeah, they're all dangling down in the middle. So some of them might have been pulled. Yeah, you can see how they've cable tied them to the fence. But yeah, when, when it first opened, there was, they were all dangling down. It looks really cool, is that? Oh wow, look at this, it's brilliant. Yeah, well worth coming to this. Definitely put this on your list to do next year. Yeah, hey, you got some more Halloween down here. The Day of the Dead over there. Oh, look at it round here. This is probably the best. 
um, set up with the lights, with the land. They're actually Chinese lanterns more than anything. Yeah, this is probably the best one down here. Look at this. That's really cool. It's a really big setup, is that? And I could see Blackpool doing something like this just down the promenade to go with the lights. Oh, the cat's not lit up very well. Unless it's meant to be like that, but yeah, black cat there. It goes on for ages, this. <laughs> it's a big walk through. You could spend a good couple of hours walking around it all if you take your time. The octopus around the tree is really good. Uh, it's like Day of the Dead and oh, there's all sorts of different themes to it. This is really good with a snail, I like that. Oh wow, look at this screen, projection screen there. And spiders. Big eyes looking, that's great art. This is really good round here. I like this. You can have a photo taken in front of the wings just over there. I like all the lights in the ground. It's really cool. Big love hearts in there. Yeah, like I said before many times about the GoPro, really good vlogging camera in the daylight but at night it's really good for the lights and stuff i mean it's making all the lights out really well it's just certain things like when i turn me turn around you can hardly see me <laughs> nothing is a good thing or a bad thing but never mind <laughs> yeah i've really enjoyed this i think i'm coming to the towards the end there's like a, a fountain show at the end and like I said, you've still got the light uh, trail as well to go through in the gardens, but I won't bother with that today. It's getting on a bit and I've got a two hour drive home. So I've done pretty much what I wanted to do. I wanted to come and see it before the end of the year. Make the last visit as well, last theme park day of the year as well for me. Remember this is on till the 2nd of January. So you've got a couple more days to come and see it. In fact, by the time I get this up, it will be probably New Year's Day now when I get this up. So yeah, Happy New Year. Hope you all have a good year. Oh, here we are. It's towards the end now. It's your water trail thing. Yeah, to do the light, the light trail, which is down in the garden, you've got to walk all the way around the park to get to it because this bit's blocked off. Oh, there's your spotlights. Wow. There's a thing over there, the fountain. Don't know where the uh, viewing platform is for it, but that was that was basically it for Lightopia. I just where the uh, bridge is now. You can't really make it out, but we see uh, the bridge now next to the lake in the in the middle. But yeah, I really enjoyed that. That was awesome. I think there might be a little bit more down at the bottom here, but. I think the majority of it's finished. It's really good. Really enjoyed that. All right, so this is the final thing here in Lightopia. Uh, it's really good. Yeah, you see the snowman there. Yeah, I thought it was raining, but it's not. It's the spray from this because it's windy. It's blowing the spray over the path. But yeah, really, really good. Really enjoyed it. Yeah, definitely come back next year for this. Yeah, as cool as that. Yeah, it's brilliant that.
Mitopia was awesome, really enjoyed that. Like I said, if it is on again next year, I'll definitely be coming back and to experience it all again. It might be some different changes, you never know. But yeah, really enjoyed that. Like I said, it was £15 just to do that on its own. I think that was brilliant, uh, really worth the money and yeah, it took me about an hour to do it. Um, I didn't get in there just 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 after four o'clock, it's, it's quarter past four, uh, it's quarter past five now. So what I've got to do is, because the park's open till eight, I'm going to have one go on Spinball Wizard behind me in the dark and then I'm going to make a move. But before I go, I'll show you some of the stuff on Tower Street, which is all lit up there. we also got Matey Boy over here singing just over there. But it's really good, it's a really nice vibe. Uh, I've really enjoyed it. So yeah, I mean, yeah, if you like what you see, come next year. Um, I've, I've really enjoyed it. It's just a shame about the rain and the fact there's no Christmas market here now. If they're doing a full-on Christmas event, the, 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 the market should be here until the end of the event, in my opinion. But yeah, never mind. But yeah, back into the rides. Yeah, I've got a wristband. Yeah, I didn't know, show you that, did I? Do I have a wristband to show that you're going on the rides? Well, yeah, I'll see you. Well, I'll see you to on Tower Street. Like I said, I'm going down to Spinball now, anyway. But you can't, you can't. I'm saying you can't see anything down there. It's pitch black. Spinball Wizard in the dark, much better that time than it was before. Yeah, a lot smoother. Two people in the uh, behind me that time. It spun like crazy. Really, really good. My hair is a complete mess now. <laughs> but it's practically walk on. Didn't wait a single second for that. Really, really good. Yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this vlog today. And that's basically it for the year. Like I said, I've got to walk up to Tower Street now, show you like the Christmas trees and decorations and stuff that are there. And then that's it. We've got a two hour drive back home, but there's no one even on that one. <laughs> really cool, all that. Right, that's it. That's my end of year. I was going to say end of season, but end of year vlog for you. Um, uh, yeah, it's been okay today. <laughs> a couple of little things, the rain, the weather, no Christmas market. Other than that, everything's really good. The rides are good. Could do with a few more uh, operational rides for the Christmas season. But it's, it's, what, uh, it's what you get, innit? And my hair's a complete mess now. It's windy now, I'm cold, I'm damp. I just want to go home now, two hour drive home. But we'll be back next year. I suppose uh, get on some of the some of the awesome rides here. I'm just happy it's not raining now. But yeah, I could walk up to this section here, Lightopia. Uh, it's got the shops still open over there. But yeah, I really, really hope you've enjoyed this vlog and vlogs from the rest of last uh, the last year. You know, I've brought you so many so much content this year. Um, that we probably didn't think we'd be able to do. You know, I've been away a couple of times, went to Poland, been to Germany, and all the parks in the UK as well. There's been a few that we haven't done this year. Flamingo Land we didn't go to because of the 10 looping coast has not been open. Uh, didn't do Fantasy Island because I was waiting for the new rides to open, the dark rides. And a few other little places we didn't bother with this year. But hopefully next year we'll get back to them. Lightwater Valley was another place, but that's technically a kids park now, so no point going to there. But anyway, I hope you had a great Christmas and all the best for the new year. I'll see you in the next vlog, whenever that may be. Hope you've enjoyed this one. Don't forget to comment, like and subscribe. It's been a good year. Hopefully next year is going to be even better. The content I do not know. Like I said, I've got um, I've got the dog now, so we'll try and do some of the stuff with the dog. Places that you can take the dogs with. We'll do some more seaside resorts, that sort of thing. 
Uh, but just stay with us, uh, see how things pan out. I haven't really got anything else planned. Probably do some more live videos and that sort of thing next year. I said that about this year, but I've only done a couple. But no, I hope you've enjoyed this video. It's been great to see you. And yeah, happy new year. I'll see you later. Bye for now.